Corner. Off jammer, off corner. My money fat, but I'm marker. Girl, I'm supposed to rock on my cock. Then I dab, then I bust a one up. Look, these intros are fuck that. Fuck life. Bitch, I run the fuck. Guys, welcome to BNG TV. I'm the Soda Shapatri, and I know we've been gone for a very long time. Obviously, I've been in uni, so but we're back for summer, and today we are starting off with Ninja from CXCV. Hi. He's not much of a talker. Like he's told me that he's. He's the, you know, subtle type, so we're just going to try bring it out of him today. So for those who don't know you, describe yourself and what you do in one sentence. Um, Ninj, the rapper from East London, yeah. Okay, it's so amazing. when and how did you personally begin music, like, in terms of you, yourself, like? Um, like, the story behind it, like, you need to talk more. It was, like, college times, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. um, a couple of them I them, like, CXCV, some couple of beats were spitting and they just spitting dead. So what, I just tried spitting dead? Yeah, in college, yeah, just oh, spitting, yeah. innit? And I just tried to take them and yeah, just worked on it. Okay. So yeah, then I just bought me studio one day. And so what is the story behind the team coming together and you guys forming the group? Um basically I asked man just one day two years ago, probably like two years ago. He was in, he's in a hotel, innit? Just asked me a couple of things. And then, I think Gecko dropped a barber instrument, innit? Mm -hmm. And we just off the dome, and we just thought, fuck it, let's go to the mm -hmm. studio, innit? So, for those who don't know, like, I don't know, like, you guys keep it a secret, mm -hmm. like, can our audiences know what CXCV stands for? Like, no. even just the C, no maybe the B, like, just the. No one's allowed just to know. The, okay, what. Like category, like is it like a friendship thing or is it like um, a category? You can give us a category, like. Oh, this is awesome, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's awesome. Like people, actually, I'm sure people are watching this so they can know that you're not. Yeah, but come up with the things. Yeah. Okay, so um, I know you guys have been doing like music for a while, and people, different people, probably say they heard of you at different times. Like me personally, it was when like the you guys done the bar um, barber thing with. Yeah to remix um gecko's song and some people say it's mojo and some people say it's recently with the half jamming half kind of thing yeah. so where when did you be believe like you guys started to like what point do you think that okay now people know us and we're kind of making noise now um you know i think it was the barber thing still because yeah. i think them times when i'm just getting calls from like very different people just to make tracks but like if you know us, we know we just drop that one track a year. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we just turn the bedroom down and that. But yeah, probably just a bubble. But. Okay, so how easy or hard was the process of like becoming known? Like, do you feel like you guys had to, you guys were underrated for a bit, or do you think it was more easier for you guys because you were a group? Um, you know what? It's fifty-fifty. I won't say underrated. Like it's. Because of our ends, it's easy for us to just jump in the mic. Mm -hmm. But it's just, yeah, it's just us man being us man. We can just do what we want when we want in it. So okay. even if we do disappear, we just feels like we're off the map. We could just come back mm -hmm. on it. Okay, well, this is probably what everyone's waiting for because obviously I, it's only right if I talk about this because you know, I've interviewed SK and mm -hmm. I'm about to, you know, so just warning you on what I'm going to talk about. So, um, like, the question here is, like, how did the idea of, like, remixing Mojo, like, come about? Like, did you guys hear his version and thought, like, let's just... Yeah, or no. did you ask him? Did you, like, phone him? Can no, you know what, yeah, fucking... Us, man, the man that we don't listen to Afro beats like that, innit? Okay. Like, we never, well, we still don't, innit? So, when Michael come with us with the mutual thing, we actually thought it was original, innit? Okay, us, man, oh, so you did, you're basically saying yeah, you didn't so know? We didn't know. So, fucking. Who's Michael? I think Michael, innit? Okay. So, I think it's only the fucking. Probably the day of the shoot? No, the day of the release. I think someone was playing it. Well, it was all in the crib. So basically, you guys didn't know that you stole the song? Yeah, well, the man that we aren't on the track didn't know. Neither did you. Oh, wow. That's yeah. so interesting because it's like, I feel like everyone, right now, everyone's shocked because everyone thought that, 
Oh, you have one of her person. No, no, no. I'm not. That's quite hard. Then you won't do that. Yeah, but because that that man's yeah, that man's demanding a sack. We do respect that. Yeah, but man, that's 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 we to respect each other. Mm-hmm. So if man says no, it's no, no. Mm-hmm. So fucking. When we clocked up, it was too late. Yeah, yeah, I know, I swear a lot, in it, yeah. so. But when we clocked, it was too late. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. Batman just put out a video. So you couldn't um, tell them to like, take Yeah, and you weren't even answering his phone. So you just thought? Yeah, so I just thought, fuck it, leave it. <sighs> from the negative and positive response that you guys got from that Mojo experience, like, what did you learn? Like, what was the main thing you guys learned from that? Um, you know what? To be fair, we just. It's not that we didn't learn anything about it. It's just shit happened. Life goes on. Yeah, man. It's not that deep. Was it? It was more deep. It was deep to other people. I think it was kind of deep to SK yeah, as well. Yeah, no, nah, it was obviously cool. We don't we don't listen to that type of music. Mm-hmm. So when something like that man comes to us with a track like that, we're just gonna think it's bro, yeah, it's a bang, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, I didn't know it. Okay, so um, when looking at let's say the Baba remix. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of comments were saying that this is better than the original and it's like a lot of your songs people do say like this is better than the original so it's like but also I feel like that's what was causing like the whole controversy as well because if it wasn't good like if it was dead like we should be like Mm. whatever yeah okay they cut my song but because it was good it's like so what do you have to say to people who always say you guys version is better than the original Try it, innit? That's mm, happens, so you can't, it? can't help yourself, kind of thing. Shit, so. Okay, so um, now this is. I feel like with me, even though the Baba thing kind of did bring the half Jamo, half Ghana song that was literally last last year. Yeah, yeah. It literally went. Everyone was talking about it. What was the inspiration behind that? Um, you know what? One of my boys, he was in Leicester, innit? He goes to the I went, I just went there to go, to go chill with him and mm-hmm. I, I didn't go uni them times. Um, I just shouted to Stevie. I was like, cuz, I beg you to sample this song for me, innit? Mm-hmm. So I said, I'll run a piece, and I was, to this day, I don't even run it. <laughs> but, yeah, he sampled it for mm-hmm. me, then he sent it to me, and I just started spitting over it. Then, um, I think, I went back to, I went back to ends. I was just chilling with my little sister, and she just started filming me spitting. And I sent it to the group chat. And these man said it was dead. Mm-hmm. So um, I left it for like a week and, I, and then one day I fell asleep and I just woke up and Benny put it on to her and that. Yeah, and it just started going off. Yeah, what do you think of my track? <laughs> which, which track? Half oh, Jungle Gone. I thought it was amazing. Like, I liked it. Like, I, I did like it. Like, I, I did like it. I liked it. No, honestly, I did. I like the first verse better. I'll be honest, I like the first verse better. Yeah. Crazy is hard though. Yeah, no, he's really, really good as well. He's actually the best group. But he just don't need music. Mm. But yeah, he's the best. Okay, so you just said, what's his name, Craze? Yeah. It's the, it's the best. Mm. Why, so why don't you think you're the best? Um, there's a lot in that. There's a deal out too, but Craze is the hardest. In, in terms of what, like, does he like come up with better lines or does he um i don't even know it's just sound about him like he's just hard like he sings as well mm. and he raps so he just called okay so do you agree that this was the peak of cftv um nah i don't know man yeah i think this it's was 50 50 yeah 50 50. so what what do you agree was the or you guys do you feel like you guys haven't had your peak yet um no nah, i don't think we have it's like i think the half general team was more Industry hype, right, mm. but not a lot of fans hype. Right, but the major team was fans hype, right, but no industry. Okay, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so what, like, just to come off you from a bit, so what is your right now your favorite UK song? Like, um, like it could be anything rap song, Afro swing, Afro trap. Um, that's right now. You know what? You see, that SL is hard. So that, this is um, where I get in trouble because man. people say it and then I'll say I don't know who that is and now SL will be angry yeah, at me. Right, he's hard. What, okay, what song was this? It's called, man. Um, what? It's called General. 
It's like a trap song, it's hard. Right. No, but sing it like. God, I can't sing when I'm gonna stop that song. So <laughs> no, but I wanna know because he's gonna think I'm violating. No, you should all check it out. I'll, actually, I'll, I'll check, check it out. I'm gonna need to check it out and I'll do a Snapchat. Probably sing it to your song. 23, I made money. That song is, that, that, is right. that a rap? Yeah, it's a guy from Hackney, he's hard as well. Okay, okay. Oh, cool. no, it's Aladdin. Probably. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. see? Notes to Aladdin. I know Notes to Aladdin. Exactly. Okay, you're, now back to your own song, back to you. Um, this this is not old, but not recent. Your fresh fresh prints. Yeah. What was the inspiration behind that? Because that was actually, um, and do you feel like that song is underrated? Because it was actually a good um, song. You know what? I think most of the tracks I just dash out there. To be fair, mm -hmm. um, so the fresh prints one. This is when I just started uni, you know? and there's a youth called Pray Big Him Up. He let me use a studio for a bit, and I remember just spitting with my boy, and we just off the dome and on the mic, and I think that just happened. Mm. In terms of music, what do you guys have like to shock audiences like coming um, for this summer? We're working behind the scenes with a couple man, a couple big names as well. Just they all be doing it. What so. big names? Can't tell you that, but like we're it's like, it's working like, closely with like, just put EP together, and hopefully. Just blows up in it. Wow. Okay, so back to the half Jammer, half yeah. Ghana thing. So, obviously, you, do you know what? You wasn't the only person. You see how you guys remix your own songs? It's like that got remixed as well. Yeah. So, how did you feel about that getting remixed? Um, to be fair, at first, you know, I didn't even care. Wow. I'm trying to think of, because I know NSG remixed it and. Yeah, people just started copying man. I, I, then I didn't care. Then Olaf for Pence yeah, done it as well. But NSG's one wasn't too friendly, was it? Yeah, nah, you know what? I think the whole commotion was that like, when they spoke to man, they said it was going to be friendly, innit? And then it wasn't, it, was just, it wasn't friendly. Yeah. So how did you feel seeing that? Um, I'm laid back, innit? So, yeah, yes, you, yeah, you are laid back, so... You, you know what? Cool, in it from more time. I didn't even write the song, like, I just mm. said it off the top of my head. Yeah. You don't want to go, go off what I throw away. It's calm, mm -hmm. isn't it? Okay, so. Okay, so where did the name Ninja come from? Literally, oh, she's saying yeah, she was getting this for like, Um, fucking, basically. You need to stop swearing, though. What do you we're mean, not, we're not gonna, YouTube, like, no, it's actually YouTube. Then, you don't know YouTube rules. You're not allowed to swear on YouTube. What? Is that rule? Manager, it's, is that rule? It's fully Manager, rule. is that rule? It's a rule. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not supposed to be swearing on YouTube. It's BNG TV rules. On YouTube, you can swear. On BNG TV, you can't cool, swear. Oh, cool. I'm not allowed to swear. Okay. Cool. So, where did it come from? Um, um, flipping. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, it came from. Come from basically. It's my older brother's name, isn't it? Okay. Come from Ems. And all the older just started calling me Young Ninja. Mm -hmm. And yeah, man, just inherited the name, isn't it? Okay, so where, what's the story? I'm going to ask you. I feel like I'm not going to do everything like mm -hmm. again. So I'm going to pick and choose, and then everything will just come together. Mm -hmm. So what's the story behind the team up of CXCV? Like, how did everyone? Did you just you can be part, you can be part, you can no, be part, um, or you know what? It certain different man brought in different people, you know. So, so wait. So who's the lead? Like, who was? Um, oh, there's no leader, isn't it? It's just yeah, there's actually You're, no leader. Someone just <clears throat> themselves, so clearly there's nah, a leader. There's no leader. <laughs> I fully <laughs> think it's Benny. Do you know why I think it's Benny? Why? Because if it was not for Benny, like you guys won't like because he posts everything on yeah, like nah, social does, media. You guys, half jam and half Ghana, that got like thousands of retweets. Like yeah. if it wasn't for him, even I won't know that song. Yeah, no, but, um, yeah, he takes like, that song. Yeah, he so, didn't ask him to do it, he just did it. Exactly, so I feel like he's probably the most important. Yeah, you know what, yeah, he's like, he does. So why did you laugh like that when I said No, because Ben, he makes me laugh just seeing his face in my head, like, you ever see the picture on Twitter of him? Oh, when he was young? Yeah, every time someone yeah. says his name, I just see yeah, that. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. yeah. No, but he does, you know, he does a lot of good for us. Though. Yeah, I think he's definitely, like, one of the most important. And then... Mm, I don't know. I feel like I only know three, three mem, four members. How many members are there? Um, there's Ben, 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 there's Ben,
it's like probably like 20 of us. 20? Mm -hmm. Okay, so do But only like six of us make music. Five, so six. like in a shoe basically, like yeah, there's 20 yeah, of them yeah. and then only like five of them make yeah. music. You see how you guys basically, you and NSU basically came up at the same time. Like, I think them were before us though. But in terms of like everyone talking about that, like because there was a period where everyone was saying CXCV or NSU, CXCV was, or NSU. Yeah, like, it's just, I don't even know, you know, it's just, it, I feel people like, talk. Mm. yeah, people talk, everyone has to compare, so. So if you were to compare. Um. I don't think we're liking me or not. You don't think? Nah. So not? who who inspires the group? Like who like the group? Or you I don't know for the group. Everyone has their individual inspiration come all different. Okay, groups. so who's your in um, inspiration? Cause when I grew up like listening to like Mash Town and that. You don't know who Mash Town is, you know who Mash Town is. Yeah, see. Uh, you're young man, you don't know. Well no, we're basically the same age, like yeah, but you don't know who Mash Town is. Well, am I supposed to know who Mash Town is? Okay, what song? Because I now have to just, know who. Yeah, there's a lot of okay, songs. Okay, what like, what what proper song like that um, everyone knows? Happy. That's that's the proper song. Just happy. So like, how does it go? I got hundred guns, hundred clips, and they got on from happy. That's how it goes. Never heard of that. Nah. Uh, I used to go check that. Man. I doubt I'm gonna do that though. Wow. I doubt I'm gonna do that one because that does not, Mash Town does not sound like me. These are legendary people in the game. But are they old or like old people? Yeah, to this day, these men are still. Oh, so they still. How old are they? Um, I'm not even sure, you know, they're old. They're, I think Wait, we're fully plus. going off topic here. Yeah, like, we're you fully, don't understand. We're fully, like a topic. <laughs> we're fully going off topic. I like it because I'm learning. Like, this is this. It kind of goes to you because this is what your yeah. iterations are. So I guess your fans want to know that and it, in like in terms of fans like I know you have a lot of female fans I think yeah something like that I always ask like guests like how they balance girlfriends and like fans or not fans but females who really like them like how do you because you know there's a lot of people out there who probably don't wish well on your relationship and yeah. I know you probably yeah. know that well yeah, it's just no yeah you're not even supposed to balance I mean your girl is your girl I'm presuming so, mm. yeah, that's your, that's your name. name like oh, that. she's probably smiling right now. Look right. at you. <laughs> thinking like this next side of me. I'm really trying to... Look at you. No, the, I'm sure they want to see that though. They, I'm sure mm. they want to see that. You just made her day as well. So, shout out to her. And I think, is she the um, makeup artist? Yeah, she does. Yeah, yeah she's YouTuber. amazing. No, she is amazing. But shout out to you guys. I do hope that none of these fans like, can't try and do... But okay, so the girls crush on you, I think. Don't. This is what I'm being told, and you're doing. I, I don't know anything. I'm just. It's like um, this. I feel like you do know, but it's I, like you I came. Mean, you came here with a game plan, like to I, say I you don't know. I never have a game plan for anyone. I just off the door on every every part of my life. Just off the door. Okay, well, I think you know me coming back has been you know a bit more. Bit more refreshing, like, yeah. You yeah. come back nice and all, you're not even trying to like that. The music scene is very clicky, like, I feel like mm. the UK, this is what I've seen, everyone just sticks to who they know. Do you feel like you guys are rated in terms of not just fans? Because I feel like with fans and audiences, you are, mm. but the music scene itself, do you feel like you're rated? Yeah, my god, we're not. See what people like don't see, we're not part of the Afrobeat scene, isn't it? Mm. Like, even though we might make a few Afrobeat tunes. Like, we don't really chat to anyone on the scene. Like, no what, what do you mean you don't chat to anyone? Like, we don't know anyone personally. Okay, okay. So, like, no, we don't know any of the plugs, anyone that might do, might just host a show. That's why mm. we all get booked for, like, a, like a rap show rather okay. than a rap or beat show. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, no, it's just, yeah, we're rated really just... Yeah, it's just, people like us, some yeah. people don't. Know. So, who do you think, like, is, like... The o since I've asked this question, like mm. the overrated, I don't know. Mm, cause I'm trying to think to myself since what it's a different year. Like the people I've said last year, probably different. Like, who do you think's overrated? Like in the scene? Um, you know what? Yeah, I don't really watch men's career like that. Quite. I hardly even. I don't even watch my own career. So why am I even watching it? What next one I'm doing? Mm. I like 
how you swerved that, you see? And then guess who's looking bad now? Ooh, Ooh, I didn't swerve it. Like, no, it's, it's honest. The, the, the way you it. answered it, it's good, I guess. Yeah, I don't, I don't care about honest swerve. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't care what they're doing. I don't care if well, they might be bigger than me. They might be better. It's, it's, not, it's not my problem. Mm. Damn man, I understand that. Okay, so to end finally, um, yeah, we're definitely going to come back bigger. Um, tune into our next episodes. Bye, guys. BNG, rewriting the rules of entertainment. Subscribe now.